In this episode of Secret Lives of the Super Rich Mega Homes. Aren't you excited? Look at this. Wow. This super brother has more than $160 million in mega homes on the line. How much will she sell? The house is asking $24,300,000. That's a very fair price. Really, it's only $3,000 a foot. Manhattan, 23 square miles. Population, 1.6 million. Playground for the world's wealthy. Where the rules of real estate don't apply. And the sky's the limit. It's 95 million. Either you want it or you don't want it. Home to one of the most powerful brokers in the business. I've sold over eight and a half billion dollars. The rich and famous turn to her to get the job done. Okay, we're gonna have two unhappy bidders and two unhappy other brokers, but such is life. And now she reveals all. It was a short top. It was a exposed skin. Money, money, power, power, and mansions in the sky. Go well, inside the secret lives of the super rich mega homes. The luxury real estate market has been turned on its heels. I've never seen as many foreign buyers that all want to buy to the Big Apple. We're at 15 Central Park West. It's probably the most famous condo in New York City. 15 Central Park West is the home to the new elite. You've got star power that's unmatched in Manhattan. A-Rod, Sting, Denzel Washington have all lived there. Prices in this building not only survived the recession, they more than doubled. We're on the 15th floor, overlooking the park. The apartment is 3,364 square feet. It has three bedrooms, a library, and three and a half baths. And it does have a guest apartment, which is almost 500 square feet, as well as a wine cellar. I like it open like this, but easy to fix to close. I'm excited to be here today. We're meeting with a client from Moscow who is working with his local Russian broker. He already owns a few apartments in New York, and he's looking for an investment property. When rich Russians come to New York, they want the three Ps, power, price, and prestige. Last year, wealthy Russians spent more than $12 billion on overseas real estate. They want a safe place to put their money, and New York is the high ground. Big walk-in closet. No, it's a problem in New York with the closets. Yeah. Well, this is... Not, not enough, huh? Well, you know, it's never enough, right? This apartment on a market basis would rent for around $100,000 a month. You might even be able to get more than that today. So you look very good here. Like, as long as you're very good with your shirt, don't you think? No, I'm serious. You actually look very comfortable, very good. We see Russian buyers in a trophy, high-end, name property. It really has to be something with a name, with a brand, and there's no better branded building than this one. And as you said, everywhere you walk through here, it's silent. It's unusual. I mean, I could turn on music if you want. <laughs> Can you dance? Can I? No, I actually cannot. <laughs> I can't dance or act or cook or sew. But you do something that <laughs> But only one thing. <laughs> Dolly has her finger on the pulse of the New York Welcome. I'm going to have lunch with Dolly to see what she's hearing about the rich and their real estate. You mind if I leave uh, my Blackberry out? It wouldn't be lunch with Dolly without yeah. at least one Blackberry. <laughs> I'll be down a little later, but... Yeah, but... <laughs> I'm disappointed you only have one. I can pull another one out. <laughs> what's happening listening to us today? You get like, what's, um, what's new? Pitching two great things. Uh, one is a Masonette, so it's a big 7,500, 8,000 square foot apartment in a really cool building. Are there any big celebs that are looking right now? Yeah, there's always big celebs looking. Um, Bruce Willis is looking. I actually showed him an apartment a week or so ago. What are you seeing right now from the Russians? I do believe the Russians are looking for 432 Park. I think this building, not clear why, excites them. them. But I'm telling you, I have I am flooded with Russian very wealthy calls for 432 Park, which isn't coming online probably for another year or more. And no Chinese for that building, right? No, because right, the, the four. four. Exactly, exactly. I've recommended to developers they eliminate the 14th floor versus the 13th floor, which is a standard here. Right, right. And I've asked them to eliminate 14 if they want to attract Chinese buyers. And it, it has been done in a couple of places. The most important apartment I ever sold isn't the most beautiful, the most expensive, the best view, best location, or anything else. 
It's the apartment that saved my life. The person I sold it to was a very prominent physician. You know, we went about our lives, we moved into his apartment. A little later, I happened to see him, and he said, you know, Bella, you don't look so great. What, what's going on? I said, well, in fact, I um, had been diagnosed with colon cancer, and I just had the operation. He said, really? Well, why didn't you call me? I said, well, I don't want to bother you. He said, believe me, Dolly, I don't need your business. He said, you need my hospital. Let's see what's going on. They saved my life because they found an additional tumor that hadn't been diagnosed at the prior hospital. You know, I'm here to tell the tale only because of, you know, the wonderful man, his wonderful hospital, and, you know, the stories here to be told. Coming up. Now that you made me fly 3,000 miles to see this apartment, what are you asking for this? <laughs> Today, my partner Nicholas and I are going to be running through our brand new exclusive. We flew in our LA partner to tour him through prior to it officially being listed. Here we go. I am so excited. Yeah. I flew all the way from Los Angeles to see this. Uh, well, it was well worth it, I promise. So custom done. Yeah. It's almost 8,000 interior and almost 2,000 exterior square feet. Wow. I am dying to see the view. Okay. That's, that's really I can't wait. what I'm here for. Go ahead, Nick. Okay, guys, here we go. Wait till you see this terrace. Aren't you excited? Look at this. Wow. wow. I mean, seriously. This is the best view I have seen of the park. Hands down. Because there is no better view. We're on the 18th floor, 18 being the best feng shui number. A lot of Asian buyers have a whole set of spiritual beliefs around their real estate. There's feng shui, where they look at how energy flows through a certain building. Things like feng shui can make or break a deal. You know, the person I have in mind for this property uh -huh. is actually Malaysian. Oh, and wow. uh, he has multiple properties all over the world. I am dying to show you the rest of the place. I can't yeah. wait. I get so excited here. Careful. This is a trophy apartment for sure. One of the most expensive apartments offered for sale in New York. Look at the woodwork. Oh my God, the, the wood paneling is amazing. And by the way, gorgeous. everything that looks like faux marble is it's marble. Real. It's real. It's real, real yeah. custom marble. They, they must have spent a fortune. fortune. Yes. I mean, the floors are impeccable. It's I mean, the whole apartment, apartment is impeccable. impeccable. It's I know. over 2,000 a foot in finishes. Over 2,000 That's incredible. Foot. And you incredible. really feel it. Like, oh yeah. You know, yeah. It, it just feels. But it's not over the top, it feels no. homey. Yes. Mm -hmm. For something so luxurious, it still feels quite homey. Mm -hmm. And Nick, what is this? A bar. Your favorite? Beautiful yes. love of, <laughs> of course. Favorite. But wait till the living room. I mean, living room, I think, is my favorite room, although I have a few favorites, it's hard to say. I, I like the fact that this part is big enough. Uh, my client actually has a full-time security with them, mm -hmm. so it's big enough that we can figure out some space for that as yeah. well. Oh, we didn't tell so, you. Yes. Mm. It comes with two very large private security mm -hmm. staff rooms. Yep. I hope you have your walking shoes. Okay, here we go. Look at this okay. hallway. It's oh. a bowling alley. <laughs> here we How go. How do you know that would have been on tennis shoes? I know, really, exactly. Here we go. Master bedroom suite. Okay, now we're going to the ladies' master bath. Pretty spectacular. Uh, incredible. What's the um, the homeowners association cost? Right, we call it maintenance. We call it maintenance. Okay. Homeowners association and real estate taxes are combined into one monthly carry figure. Uh, and what's the number? Including maid service twice a day, and all the other amenities that come with this, which include a spa. I would say in the 40s. Remember, 30s. it includes real estate taxes. Well, so maybe up into the 50s. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little under 60,000 a month. Wow. No, yeah, and that's actually very reasonable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People don't realize how expensive these apartments are to operate. So maintenance for this apartment, $60,000 a month. Add to that cleaning staff, $200,000 a year. Insurance, $100,000 a year. Caretaker, $100,000 a year. You need a landscaper for those terraces, another $50,000 a year. So we're talking about a million dollars a year just to keep the lights on. I mean, we really have to show this. This, yeah. this, yeah. this is like the perfect thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm thinking? Yeah. I'm thinking we should, you know, come here as the sun setting. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. should have some champagne. We should maybe get a little bit of catering. Mm -hmm. uh, enjoy. Couple girls or no? We could do, we could do the girls. Okay. I always appreciate yeah. that. You yeah. know, he is younger. And... Yeah. So this is one of seven bedrooms. They chose this as the master bedroom suite, although they're all huge. Now that you made me fly 3,000 miles to uh, come see this apartment. Mm -hmm. I have a very important question for you. What are you asking for this? <laughs> what do you think? A bargain. I'm thinking 125 million. You're close. Yeah. 95 million. Okay. Not too bad. I'm no. pleasantly surprised, yeah. actually. Yeah. 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 The I'm price like... is firm. Okay, it's 95 million. They didn't want to fool around, okay? They didn't want to ask 125 and negotiate. Mm -hmm. Either you want it or you don't want it. We might do a, need to do a little bit of negotiation. But here. they won't. Yeah. So guess where it comes out of? Understood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the 
always comes out of there. Exactly. So, yeah. so let's see what we can do. Exactly. We're in my favorite mansion in New York. It's on 95th Street and Carnegie Hill, just off Fifth Avenue. It's Billionaire's Row. We have at least three known billionaires living on that block. The house is asking $24,300,000. It's just a fabulous house. It's almost 8,000 square feet. It's over five bedrooms. It's over six bathrooms. It has a beautiful garden. I showed it today to private equity guy. He's come back now for the third time, third or fourth time. Well, third or fourth time. He asked me to get some feedback um, from the seller as to what he might do mm -hmm. a deal for. Okay. He knows it's twenty-four million three hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. Of course, buyers always think it's too high, but yeah. I went through it's three thousand a foot. Yeah, it's reasonable. Oh, that's a that's a very fair price. I mean, we're talking about eight thousand square foot home. So really, it's only three thousand dollars a foot. You know, a lot of condos sell for twice and three times that. Next, I'm going to pour some liquor into two champagne glasses. What looks the most like champagne? Give it another smack, please. We're in an A plus plus rated Fifth Avenue cooperative. It's on Museum Mile. Really, the primest of prime locations. It's really a terrific deal. It's probably the best deal on Fifth Avenue right now. It's three and a half million dollars. It's four and a half rooms, so it's two bedrooms, one huge boudoir master bedroom, two baths, a kitchen, and a beautiful dining foyer. This apartment once belonged to Sister Parish, one of the most important designers of the 20th century. Today I'm meeting with the photographer, my favorite photographer, Evan Joseph. Wow. Thanks for coming. So what do you think? Wow. Yeah. You have to look at it. Yeah. yeah that's going to be the challenge, I think, mm -hmm. here. In this business, a photo is worth Great. many millions of dollars. A photo to the owner gets the property sold. So the photo is it. So this is the living room. The mirrors actually original from when Sister Parish was here, but they're antique mirrors. Okay. So I want to make sure somehow we capture that. He's not just taking pictures. You know, he's really staging the place to make it look its best. We'll try to make it look big. But homey. But homey. Yeah. Give it another snack, please. How about one of those uh, karate chops? Let's karate chop on that side, too. The green one could use a karate chop, please. Nice. Yeah. That karate chop to the pillow. That's always a really important thing. It took me a long time to learn how to do that karate chop. If you were fabulously wealthy, let's see, where would you put your candles, Heather? Probably one of those hundred closets. I found one, but it's stumpy. Stumpy is good. It looks used. Use a stumpy one. I'm going to pour some liquor into two champagne glasses. What looks the most like champagne? You know, you want someone to imagine themselves sitting in that couch, sitting in that chair, sipping the champagne, having a conversation, having the butler come over and serve them an hors d'oeuvre. Why don't we just take some whiskey or whatever, and yeah. just add some water to it? Yeah, okay. We had to improvise. There wasn't champagne available. Why should we put, like, right here? Oh, I love it. Maybe one there and one right on top of those books. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. We'd use books for coasters, right? Yeah. We're going to the bedroom. I mean, it's really luxurious. You have the bed. I mean, everything about it is just beautiful. I want to capture that whole feeling of this elegant boudoir where she goes to rest. Not all housekeepers make perfect beds, but we sure know how to make perfect beds. The photography is going to show a perfect bed. And I'll keep it a little bit sexy, a little bit dim. I could throw a nightgown on the bed. What do you think? <laughs> Might be too over the top. Too crazy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is it too flowery? It's a lot of flowery. It might just be too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's we'll do the karate chop. Coming up. It was a short top. It was a uh, yeah. There was exposed skin. I've had the pleasure of working with everyone from titans of industry, kings of countries, to entertainment A-listers. One of my most challenging days was the day that I had to take Mariah Carey for her board interview for the potential purchase of Barbara Streisand's apartment. It took seven months to get her a board interview. So we're all thrilled. Tomorrow's a board interview. Please dress very conservatively like you're going to a funeral. Unfortunately, they drove up in a really long stretch limousine, which wasn't necessarily the best thing. So she comes out of the stretch limousine, and she's dressed in a little black miniskirt and a little black top. 
It was a short top. It was a, yeah, there was exposed skin. I said, you dress for a funeral? And she said, yeah, this is how I dress for a funeral. I said, oh, okay. And off we went. We get to the apartment, more president's apartment where we're meeting. They're really grilling her. They're really giving her quite the hard time. Hey, they said, well, notorious. And instead of saying B-I-G, they said something like B-T-I-G or just they said it wrong, but well, notorious be visiting you here often. And she responded, that would probably be difficult since he's dead. She wasn't being sarcastic. She delivered it really well. I thought she handled it perfectly. Apparently, they thought it was flippant. She was unfortunately rejected to purchase the apartment. No fun that day. It will definitely appeal to a younger audience. Oh, totally. And the ceiling height is huge. Amazing. Yeah. Look, who's lived here? Lucille Ball has lived here. Meryl Streep. Darren Williams. We're at 271 Central Park West, just off 87th and Central Park West. It's a beautiful old pre-war building. You have a beautiful view of the park. The apartment is four bedrooms, living room, dining room, and library. Listing price is 7950. We're getting calls, you know, to show it to will be stars now that we've had two um, because the building is welcoming and, and friendly exactly yeah. yeah which is very important I know. you know being a celebrity in new york can actually count against you not many buildings want celebrities as tenants or neighbors for this location you know to ask under eight million dollars exactly yeah. it, it's it's perfectly priced all in my opinion exactly. for all this front to john yeah, course amazing yeah. what's great about these windows they're so big mm -hmm. and they're seamless yeah see the white the top penthouse right there, all wrapped in white. That's the one I sold four times. From the Tyco guys to Tommy Matola to the Asprey guy. I mean, it's just everyone. such everyone. And just like boom, boom. Nobody could last there very long for some reason. They want a safe place to put their money, and New York is the high ground. Big walk-in closet. Mm -hmm. That's a problem in New York because the closets. Yeah. Well, this is not, not enough, huh? Well, you know, it's never enough, right? This apartment on a market basis would rent for around $100,000 a month. You might even be able to get more than that today. So you look very good here. Like, as long as you're very good with your shirt, don't you think? No, I'm serious. You actually look very comfortable, very good. We see Russian buyers in a trophy, high-end, name property. It really has to be something with a name, with a brand, and there's no better branded building than this one. And as you said, everywhere you walk through here, it's silent. It's unusual. I mean, I could turn on music if you want. <laughs> Can you dance? Can I? No, I actually cannot. <laughs> I can't dance or act or cook or sew. But you do something that <laughs> But only one thing. <laughs> Dolly has her finger on the pulse of the New York wealth. I'm going to have lunch with Dolly to see what she's hearing about the rich and their real estate. Do you mind if I leave uh, my Blackberry out? It wouldn't be lunch with Dolly without yeah. at least one Blackberry. <laughs> I'll be down a little later, but... Yeah, but... <laughs> I'm disappointed you only have one. I can pull another one out. <laughs> What's happening listening to us today? You get like, well, what's, um, what's new? Pitching two great things. Uh, one is a Masonette, so it's a big 7,500, 8,000 square foot apartment. In a I would say in the 40s. Remember, 30s? it includes real estate taxes. Well, so maybe up into the 50s. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little under 60,000 a month. 
Wow. Yeah, and that's actually very reasonable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People don't realize how expensive these apartments are to operate. So maintenance for this apartment, $60,000 a month. Add to that cleaning staff, $200,000 a year. Insurance, $100,000 a year. Caretaker, $100,000 a year. You need a landscaper for those terraces, another $50,000 a year. So we're talking about a million dollars a year just to keep the lights on. I mean, we really have to show this. This, yeah. This, yeah. this is like the perfect thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm thinking? Yeah. I'm thinking we should, you know, come here as the sun's setting. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. should have some champagne. We should maybe get a little bit of catering. Mm -hmm. uh, enjoy. Couple girls or no? We could do, we could do the girls. Okay. I always appreciate yeah. that. You yeah. know, he is younger. And... Yeah. So this is one of seven bedrooms. They chose this as the master bedroom suite, although they're all huge. Now that you made me fly 3,000 miles to uh, come see this apartment, mm -hmm. I have a very important question for you. What are you asking for this? <laughs> What do you a think? Bargain. I'm thinking 125 million. You're close. Yeah. 95 million. Oh, okay. Not too bad. I'm no. pleasantly surprised, yeah. actually. Yeah. yeah. The I'm price like... is firm. Okay, it's 95 million. They didn't want to fool around, okay? They didn't want to ask 125 and negotiate. Mm -hmm. Either you want it or you don't want it. We might do a, we need to do a little bit of a negotiation. But they won't. Yeah. So guess where it comes out of? Understood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it always that? comes out of there. Exactly. So, yeah. so let's see what we can do. Exactly. They saved my life because they found an additional tumor that hadn't been diagnosed at the prior hospital. You know, I'm here to tell the tale only because of, you know, the wonderful man, his wonderful hospital, and, you know, the stories here to be told. Coming up. Now that you made me fly 3,000 miles to see this apartment, what are you asking for this? <laughs> Today, my partner Nicholas and I are going to be running through our brand new exclusives. We've flown our only partner to pull him through prior to it officially being listed. Here we go. I am so excited. Yeah. I flew all the way from Los Angeles to see this. Uh, well, it was well worth it, I promise. First of all, it is so custom done. Yeah. It's almost 8,000 interior and almost 2,000 exterior square feet. Wow. I am see the view. Okay. That's, that's really what I'm here for. Go ahead, Nick. Okay, guys, here we go. Wait till you save this terrace. Aren't you excited? Look at this. Wow. wow. I mean, seriously. This is the best view I have seen of the park. Hands down. Because there is no better view. We're on the 18th floor, 18 being the best feng shui number. A lot of Asian buyers have a whole set of spiritual beliefs around their real estate. There's feng shui, where they look at how energy flows through a certain building. Things like feng shui can make or break a deal. You know, the person I have in mind for this property uh -huh. is actually Malaysian. Oh. And all the other amenities that come with this, which include a spa. I would say in the 40s. Remember, 30s, it includes real estate taxes. Or, so maybe up into the 50s. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little under 60000 a month. Well, yeah, and that's actually very reasonable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People don't realize how expensive these apartments are to operate. So maintenance for this apartment, $60,000 a month. Add to that cleaning staff, $200,000 a year. Insurance, $100,000 a year. Caretaker, $100,000 a year. You need a landscaper for those terraces, another $50,000 a year. So we're talking about a million dollars a year just to keep the lights on. I mean, we really have to show this. This, yeah. This, yeah. this is like the perfect thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm thinking? Yeah. I'm thinking we should, you know, come here as the sun's setting. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. should have some champagne. We should maybe get a little bit of catering. Mm -hmm. uh, enjoy. Couple girls or no? We could do, we could do the girls. Okay. I always appreciate yeah. that. You yeah. know, he is younger. And... Yeah. So this is one of seven bedrooms. They chose this as the master bedroom suite, although they're all huge. Now that you made me fly 3,000 miles to uh, come see this apartment, mm -hmm. I have a very important question for you. What are you asking for this? <laughs> What do you a think? bargain. I'm thinking 125 million. You're close. Yeah. 95 million. Oh, okay. Not too bad. I'm no. pleasantly surprised, yeah. actually. Yeah. 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 The um, price like... is firm. Okay, it's 95 million. They didn't want to fool around, okay? They didn't want to ask 125 and negotiate. Mm -hmm. Either you want it or you don't want it. We might do a, we need to do a little bit of negotiation. But yeah. they won't. Yeah. So guess where it comes out of? Understood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it always that? comes out of there. Exactly. So, yeah. so it's fabulously wealthy. Let's see, where would you put your candles, Evan? Probably one of those hundred closets. I found one, but it's stumpy. Stumpy is good. It looks used. Use a stumpy one. I'm going to pour some liquor into two champagne glasses. What looks the most like champagne? You know, you want someone to imagine themselves sitting in that couch, sitting in that chair, sipping the champagne, having a conversation, having the butler come over and serve them an hors d'oeuvre. Why don't we just take some whiskey or whatever, just yeah. add some water to it? Yeah, okay. We had to improvise. There wasn't champagne available. Why should we put, like, right here? Oh, I love it. Maybe one there and one right on top of those books. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. We'd use books for coasters, right? Yeah. 
we're gonna go into the bedroom. I mean, it's really luxurious. Yeah, the bed, I mean, everything about it is just beautiful. I want to capture that whole feeling of this elegant boudoir where she goes to rest. Not all housekeepers make perfect beds, but we sure know how to make perfect beds. Photography is going to show a perfect bed. And I'll keep it a little bit sexy, a little bit dim. I can throw a nightgown on the bed, what do you think? <laughs> Might be too over the top. Too crazy. Yeah. yeah, okay. Is it too flowery? It's a lot of flowery. It might just be too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to We'll do the chop. Coming up. It was a short top. It was, uh, yeah, there was exposed skin. I've had the pleasure of working with everyone from titans of industry, kings of countries, to entertainment A-listers. One of my most challenging days was 